What up, T? What up, man? Man, you know, they got haters out here. No doubt. What are we gonna do about it? Oh, yeah. We gonna get ass. What's good, everybody? It's your man, Mr. 901773. And this is the 4EG movie review. Now, the movie we're gonna be talking about is gonna be called, it's called Django. That's D J A N G O. All right. It stars Jamie Foxx, stars, um, well, kind of towards the end. Sam Jackson is in it, and Leonardo DiCaprio. Now, <clears throat> first off, let me say this to all the media. Wendy Williams, Al Sharpton, and anybody else that wants to diss this movie for whatever reason. What you guys got to understand is this. The Django was not or is not about some old uh, dude, racist, me and Jamie Foxx. He is not a racist, all right? My thing is this. If you go and watch the movie, I mean, really sit down and watch the fucking movie. It will enlighten a lot of people. But you got to keep in mind, though this movie was created here in this time and age, the whole premise was dated back when. All right. So, as you see, I'm playing some uh, a clip of this movie. All right, and it's a damn good ass movie too. So, as I said, anybody out there in the media that don't like I say, no offense. You can kiss my ass, and I'm quite sure I'm not beyond. I'm not a white. Uh, uh, obviously, I'm not white, but I'm not a conservative. I'm not a liberal. I'm not a Democrat. I'm not a Republican. I'm not way up here on the financial scale. I'm more down here. I'm just an individual that actually saw this movie. Okay, I saw this movie. Now. Did Jamie, I'm going to answer some questions. Did Jamie Foxx play a slave? Yes, he did. I will give you that. All right. But if you watch the movie, Jamie only played a slave for about five minutes. And he was liberated. Okay. Second of all, Jamie didn't kill all the white people in this movie. He did not. If you watch the movie, you will see the German guy, the person who was the actual bounty hunter that took Jamie on as his his worker, his uh, his partners, so to speak. Um, he was the one that actually did the majority of the killing in this movie. Jamie, I will admit, shot one person, one bounty because he became a bounty hunter, all right? And even says throughout the movie, for every person they went after, the warrant said, dead or alive. Dead or alive. That means you either gonna come nicely with me and do what you gotta do and serve your time and go to jail and all these types of things, or I'm gonna kill you. Now, to be totally honest with you, that's the only way you're going to get some of these people. You're going to kill them. Okay. Psst. May not be in this time, but back then, yeah. Okay. Now, I'm going to address this thing about the word nigga being used approximately 125 times throughout the movie. Cat Williams, don't get me wrong. I like you. You're a good guy. You know, I love everything that you do, you know what I'm saying? And I will support you 100% over anybody, okay? But to diss Jamie because he took this movie role, I think was really, really wrong. You say you, they sent you the script. They read, you read the script. If you truly read or if anybody truly seen the script, you would under fucking stand that at that time that's the way things were that's the first thought i mean 
in all honesty, yeah, you can sit back and say, man, this was really messed up, you know, they shouldn't have did this, they shouldn't have did that. Jamie was actually the fucking hero in this, all right? Jamie did not, other than the one bounty, okay? Other than that one bounty, Jamie did not start killing people in this movie until the German guy, the guy that liberated him from being a slave, got killed, okay? Go back. If you've seen the movie, I advise you, go back. Watch the movie again, all right? But this time, pay a fuck attention. Now, normally, I don't... I try not to use this type of language when I am reviewing a movie, okay? I really try not to. But the media and all these uppity, uppity niggas, I'm going to put it like that. All these uppity, uppity niggas, okay? They're making a big deal out of nothing. Nothing. Would there be a movie about the Holocaust and all of this, blah, blah, that? Would there, would it be so much controversy if a black man other than, other than a white dude actually made this movie? Would there be any controversy? Who's to say? Only thing we can say is Quentin Tarantino did his fucking job in this movie. He is a man that understands how the things went. Now, Quentin could have went very well, went way off and left, and really showed as much as derogatory things towards the black community. He could have. He didn't. He focused on what he wanted to show. A black man, a black slave man, okay? Becoming the hero and saving his woman. Now, in all honesty, if you're watching this, okay, I'm really hoping you will agree with me on this. Any man, any real fucking man with a wife, a girl, kids, or whatever, if a motherfucker came and kidnapped your girl, all right, took her from you, you mean to sit here and tell me you wouldn't do the same damn thing and try to get your girl back? If you say you will let her go, use an asshole. And I'm gonna be I'm gonna be real blunt with it, all right? Because what this man did, he made a deal, he carried his end of the bargain, and he went after his woman, and the German guy actually helped him. So go back, watch the movie, understand truly what this movie is about damn what wendy williams and al sharpton and all these other people want to get up in the hoopra about over a fucking movie a movie how many other people out there made movies that depicted the black community in such a doggish way and nobody say shit okay Look at the movie Roots, okay? That was about our history, okay? And y'all know this. I didn't see at the time when Roots came out, nobody said shit other than, ooh, a black man, Alex Haley, Haley went and he told his story. It was so good. I mean, the movie is so fucking good. Every fucking year it comes out, it has, it's been expanded. First it was three, this. Now it's five. Now it's eight. By the time a motherfucker really go out there and really, really say, okay, I would like to have this movie for my collection, you're going to have 30 plus fucking discs, all right, for one fucking movie that only took three fucking days when it originally aired on TV, okay? My thing is this. Kudos to Jamie Foxx, okay? Cool fuck it up. The brother went from slave to hero. He avenged his friend's death. He got his woman. He got paid. He, he did what the fuck he had to do. All right? I encourage everybody to please go out, really watch this movie. All right? Watch it. I don't condone bootleg. But if you can come across a bootleg tape, 
CD of this movie because you can't afford because I, I know the economy is bad. I know this. All right. But if you can come across a bootleg copy or sneak in the movie theater, sneak in the drive in. We used to do it back in the day. One motherfucker paying the drive in, 30 motherfuckers in the trunk. All right. Do it. Watch the movie. I can guarantee you. All right. This will not be any money wasted. Okay. It has everything, like I said. Action from start to finish. For two hours and 45 motherfucking minutes, you would not want to move. It ain't like, and I'm not saying anything wrong about Spike Lee, all right? Spike, you know you got issues about this movie. And I'm like a lot of other people. You just mad because you didn't think of it, all right? But unlike Malcolm X, which was a three-hour fucking movie, that I'm going to be honest, I'm going to be honest, I'm, I'm raising my hand. I went to sleep on it. It took me ten fucking times to see the movie all the way through. Okay? it Damn good movie. Just boring as hell. Alright? I understood it. It had historical features, historical facts. Got it. But it was boring as fuck. Here is another three hour movie that caught my attention from beginning to end. What more can I say? And honestly, isn't that all what we really want? Man, it's your man, 901-773, Mr. You know what I'm saying? Go watch the movie, the Django. Do I give it five mics? Hell no. I don't give it five mics. I give it 10 because it's that motherfucking good. Django Peace. the fire, man. <laughs> <laughs> Peace up, you know what I'm saying? Memphis 10, I see you. Remember, two round, three down, always. One love. Honey Lee, go ahead, talk about me, get it in, go strong. I know you heard the sin, open your life as